Hello everybody, this is Budridge and I have updated i3s, you know, the i3 script uh, collection that is uh, available on the Budlabs GitHub. i3s uh, contains uh, a couple of scripts here, these, these ones, um, that assist the usage of i3, hence the name i3s, short for assistance, you know. <laughs> whatever um, and in the last video I did um, I, I actually noticed myself how nice it would be to have a feature uh, a force flag option for i3 run so I, I went and added that now so it's uh, you, you can use um, force with lowercase or you can make a force all uppercase or the short option uh, capital F um, and what it does is uh, it fixes that uh, thing that we saw in, in the last um, video let me demonstrate it quickly here you know this is pale moon the instance name is pale moon uh, main so i3 run instance pale moon main executing this should activate the browser I and mean, you should see that the browser is active both by the title here changing and also this tab we get highlighted and just as I showed you in the last video we can add uh, the E option here I specify a command we want to execute pale moon uh, and let's say we also want to open a URL here. Um, cannot think of a good URL right now. Uh, uh, um, Google.com, whatever. Okay, executing this. It doesn't execute the command because the window exists. But now, um, with the force option, we can use that. Now it will uh, execute the command uh, even if the window already exists. As you can see, it works fine. And that also means that we could use this with link lord exec, uh, exec this. And then we have to turn the quotes around here, but whatever. And we also change this to percentage u. I think this will work get the menu select uh, this I don't know what that is some language and it opened in pale moon even if the window exist existed uh, the capital F version or uh, force is almost the same thing except it will also uh, execute the command even if um, the window is active and is about to get hidden because that is also the default uh, uh, behavior of i3 run if you execute this command uh, and the window is already active then it will send that window to the scratch pad uh, and if it is on the scratch pad it will bring it back uh, so this is hard to demonstrate with the pale moon from terminal here uh, but we could actually use the terminal itself here you can see the instance name for this terminal is uh, term small so i3 run instance term small this will uh, probably hide this window now and it did I'll bring it back with my key binding um, and if we add a command, we could add uh, dunstify works. Now executing this, it shouldn't uh, execute the command because the window exists. Executing the same command with force option. It shouldn't execute the command this time either because the window is about to get hidden it is already active 
didn't uh, execute the command. With capital force, then it will do that. Works. Cool. Uh, not really sure uh, when you would like, uh, when, when it could be useful to use this capital F version here, uh, but it was like easy to implement while I was just doing this one. But, but this one, I really see the use case for this. And it's, it should also be um, take into account like now it will not print the, the notification. I haven't really tested this now. It doesn't print the notification. But if we add the uh, uh, flag um, is it no hide this flag then that means it shouldn't hide the window send it to the scratch pad if it uh, is active and if this option is present uh, then it will execute the command uh, with lowercase force here i hope this works i never tested this it works amaze Right, so that's what this release is about. Uh, I don't think I mentioned uh, the other small modification I did there um, to i3 menu. I added a short sleep here for just, uh, this is half of, or five, five milliseconds uh, before it reads from standard in. Uh, because I noticed that sometimes when I try to spawn a menu, like for example here I spawn this Link Lord menu. Sometimes when I was using i3 menu, the list would be empty. I'm not really sure, and I it, this doesn't feel perfect, but I haven't had any issues since I added this sleep, so now it's added to, to the source. And I also added uh, a default to the uh, xdg config home environment variable, uh, and I would like to thank uh, Emanuele for making the original pull request uh, about that issue. Uh, which was made in like April uh, last year. So I'm using uh, i3 as here myself. I use more or less all of these constantly. It's not like just a daily basis. It's, it's like uh, I constantly use them when I'm using the computer. Of course, especially i3 FIRA, but probably i3 run just as much and i3 get and i3 list as well. I, I, I use this constantly and I, I haven't found any good reason to, to improve it really. I know there are some things I could do. I, I actually had a, a, an email conversation with, with one of my viewers here uh, who had some ideas um, that was actually very, very good uh, that would make, make the uh, i3 FIRA experience a little bit more smooth. Um, but I haven't uh, haven't had any big issues at all. This has uh, been uh, I don't know. I'm, I, I think I'm starting to to uh, get even on the amount of time I have uh, uh, saved by using these programs, uh, contrary to how much time it took to to, to make them. I'm still uh, a couple of hours behind, I guess. Uh, but um, whatever. So it's updated, it's available in AUR if you are not using Arch then you can just clone this repo and run a sudo make install and it should install it or if you don't want to do that either then you can just, these are uh, executable script bash script files that you can just uh, run independently if you would like to do that. Um, yeah, that's... Um, i3 run and i3 as for you have a great day everybody thank you for watching bye bye bye